Herman getting a beating, and I jumped, man, I, and I'm chasing after this guy. I can't wait, man, to see Herman getting a beating because I don't like Herman anyway. La, 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 la. And he goes up the second flight and says, wait for me, man, wait for me, don't go so fast. And he makes that turn around the third, and I make the turn, and the guy takes a step. Out. I never touched one step. Ran two miles before I realized what had happened. When I turned around, they were right behind me laughing. Ah! Funny man, God rolling, kicking the feet up in the air on the back. It was really funny, boy. You were really cool, man. You just lost everything as well. Your hair was standing up and everything. It was a... That ain't funny, man. You can kill somebody like that. Suppose somebody wouldn't look at that statue and their heart just stopped pumping right away. Or the guy would have just fallen down some stairs and hurt himself. That ain't funny. Yeah, but God, you just see yourself. It was really funny, man. You just went, true, didn't even touch much of that, man. It's really cool, I'm telling you. <laughs> Listen, guys, now you gotta get somebody. Yeah, that's right. Get up in the hallway. Get the statues up. Come on, we're gonna get somebody. I'm gonna scare somebody now, boy. It's gonna just be me, I tell you that. I get somebody killed around here. It'll really be funny, because when they leave that statue on there, oh, that'll be it for them. And I'm waiting outside. Is the thing up? Yeah, okay. Here we go. And wait, somebody gotta come sooner or later. And I get somebody. And I hear off in the distance. Fat Albert. Hey! I said, hey, Fat Albert, come here, man. You should see Herman. He's getting a beating. I like to see Herman get a beating. Hey! Now, Fat Albert is not too fast, see? So I run up and I grab my arm. Come on, Albert, hurry up. Hey! And I start hitting him behind the back. Hurry up, man. Did you see it before it's over? Hey! We go up the second flight. I start laughing because I know what it is. And turn around. Come on, Albert. We get up to the third flight. And the guy's there. Oh. I forgot I was behind him. <laughs> they, uh, they took me to the hospital and they put me in a bed beside a wino who was run over by two kids. And we both agreed that uh, frightened children are really uh, hard to get along with. I never had a guy dance on me so long. And, and he was so scared he couldn't even get a hey. He was just, and just dancing right on me for all. I used to drink a lot too. And uh, I learned a lot from drinking though. You learned lessons from drinking, things you never forget. One thing I learned from drinking is that if you ever go Christmas caroling, you should go with a group of people, you know? <laughs> And also go like around December. That's the best time of year. Just... When you're out there in mid-July and you're naked with a bottle of Jack Daniels outside your ex-girlfriend's house going, Jingle Bell! A lot of people don't consider that caroling for some reason. I rolled all the way out here from Georgia on a bus. On a bus? I rolled from Georgia on a bus. How long did that take? Oh, that took a good part of a week. A week? Yeah, on the bus. He didn't have no window seat neither. I was sitting on a aisle for a whole week to get to Hollywood. Wow. And why did you come to Hollywood? Be a Big Sherman movie. Big Sherman's making a movie. Big Sherman playing a uh, movie where he play a, a professor or something teaching in school. You go to church then, do you? Oh, yes. I go to church seven times a week. Seven times a week? Mm-hmm. Twice on Saturday. Twice on Saturday? Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You Southern Baptist? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You like that gospel singing? Oh, yeah. You ever do any of that yourself? Oh, I used to be in a choir. I start forgetting the lyric to the hymn, so they had to teach me how to sing and lead, you know. Uh-huh. You sang and lead, you could get the lyrics. You know, oh, and you stuck out there on that oh, you don't know what come after you say oh, <laughs> old choir standing there around waiting for the next line, you know, and I just improvised, I said oh Jesus, and there wasn't no old Jesus, it was oh Lord, and I threw everybody time and all, so I had to come out of the band. Oh, that's too bad. I sang leave 23 years in that band, and the church group. Second soprano and lead. 
my weight was real high to the uh, menopause come down on me. Mm. Now I got this uh, rough clang. You know. Can't sing soprano no more. Mm. And I'm too proud and too pretty to sing baritone, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> what, were your, what were your favorite gospel songs? Oh, I like anything by um, Leontine Price. And I like my favorite gospel song of all is Did Melt My Heart. Is, uh, just to prove that people are weird, I went out and I bought a rhinoceros. <laughs> and I put him in my apartment, you know, and I dug a hole and everything for him. And, you know, I refused to hang my head on his horn, you know, that kind of thing. And just to prove to you, some people are weird enough that they'll pretend that a rhinoceros in the living room doesn't excite them. Now, you get people like that guy who walk by and say, Oh my, you, uh, you have a rhinoceros, huh? We used to have a rhinoceros. <laughs> Take the rhinoceros for a walk, you know, and some drunk always gets after it. Oh, boy, that's a weird-looking dog you got there. Does he bite? No, but he'll ram the hell out of you. Look, one of the weird things about working up here on the stage, you get to see a lot of weird things, and uh, I don't think there's anything weirder than when you see, like, people out together on a double, triple, or a fourple date, and uh, like one woman will stand up and tap the other, and she'll say, let's go to the ladies' room. You know, and they all rise. <laughs> and it's weird, you know, because when they go out and come back, you ask them, say, look, how come all of you had to go to the ladies' room when only one had the original idea? And they say, well, we have, have they won't tell you. They won't say one single thing. It's weird, really. One time, nine women sat right up front here. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. One lady rose just to clear her dress. They all got up. <laughs> she said, no, girl, sit down. False alarm. <laughs> now, I could see myself out on a double date, and some guy would stand up and say, hey, let's go to the men's room. <laughs> so I think you better go by yourself. As soon as he leaves, somebody says, hey, guy, weird, what's wrong with him? I can see myself married, wife running the vacuum cleaner, turn it off, go next door, knock on the guy, she open the door, hello there, hi, let's go to the ladies' room now. No, really? And I'll tell you something else about women, they always try to get the upper hand, see, and they have one thing, they say, you men don't suffer the way we suffer when we have labor pains. Bull. I know a pain that only men suffer that's so far above labor pains you can't even find it on the pain chart. We don't even talk about it. There is no pain in the world greater than the pain a man gets when he goes out on a date, planks his date down in the seat in the movie, puts his arm around the chair in the movie, and leaves it there for two and a half hours. The blood from his fingertips drains to the center of his chest. What are you doing? I'm trying to save my wrist. What do you think? The three-year-old is a different story. The three-year-old, here's her deal. She's a three-year-old. That's really it. She's three years old. The other day, I got in a fight with her. Whose fault is that? I'm 41, and she's three. It's always your fault with a three-year-old, always, because they are just what they are. They can't help it. Just tape the windows. It's a fucking hurricane. Just wait. Anytime you're like this with a three-year-old, don't you understand? You're an idiot. That's you being in it. Don't you understand? No, I don't, Dad. I haven't developed enough. You just have to wait. <laughs> but it was partly her fault because she wore me down. Let me tell you what happened. It was this horrible, horrible day. It started the night before because she woke me up all night. Just woke me up every fucking, in just 10 minutes. Just woke me up. Just said, Dad, with nothing. That's the worst part. Daddy! Whoa, whoa, what is it? Um, oh, fuck you. You got nothing. <laughs> you bullshit are you. So now it's the next morning, I'm making breakfast and I'm gone. I'm insane. I drank too much coffee to overcompensate and I'm like, <laughs> I keep having these moments where it's like, <laughs> and there's nothing there. Just nothing. <laughs> oh, okay, Jesus. I'm making French toast. She's over there sitting in her little chair, just fucking anger, just pure. She's a little ball of anger. She's like, I want French toast. I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm making, honey. I'm making French toast. I'm bringing it over. Yeah. 
Give me syrup! Yes, of course, if you give me syrup, I always do. I love you very much. Cut it for me! I'm happy to cut it for you. You're not asking nicely, but it's okay. I'll cut it for you, baby. I love you very much. Then she's looking at her plate, and she's literally going... Because <sighs> she needs to be, want something, you know? She didn't, there's nothing logical for her to want, so she, her brain has to go somewhere crazy. So she's looking at her plate, she goes... I don't know which piece to eat. And I'm still not engaging. I'm like, oh, I know, honey, that's hard. That's really hard. I'll just make a list of pros and cons for every piece and I'll help you with it later. And I look at her and she's walking towards me now with the plate just vertical with syrup fucking going on the floor. She's like, help! And I'm standing there, like looking at her. And I love her. And I'm proud of her in a way. Because I know she'll never want for anything. She'll beat the shit out of people. She's... She'll kill people for meat after the apocalypse. She'll be one of those. <laughs> and then later I'm trying to get them dressed for school. And now the clock's ticking and I'm like, uh, And I'm trying to put a sweater on her and it's impossible. The sweater has buttons that just don't exist. And I'm turning my fat fingers and they're full of sweat. And I have just tears going down my cheeks. Crazy tears. I'm not crying. I'm like smiling with tears. Copious. I can't. I can't put on the sweater. I can't put on the sweater. I can't. I really can't do it. And she's going like this. So I give her a Fig Newton just to immobilize her, just to stop it. Because she loves Fig Newtons. I go, here, honey, have a Fig Newton. She goes, they're not called Fig Newtons. They're called Pig Newtons. And I go, no, they're not. They're called Fig Newtons. And right away in my head, I'm like, what are you doing? Why? What is to be gained? What do you care? Just, yeah, Pig Newtons, fine, go ahead. Good luck to you, go through life, see what kind of job you can hold down with shit like that clanging around in your head. I don't care, I'll be dead. But for some reason, I engaged. No, honey, they're called Fig Newtons. She goes, no, you don't know. You don't know, they're called Pig Newtons. And I just, I, I feel this rage building inside, just... Because it's not that she's wrong, she's three, she's entitled to be wrong, but it's the fucking arrogance of this kid. No humility, no decent sense of self-doubt. She's not going like, Dad, I think those are Pig Newtons, are you sure that you have it right? She's not saying that, she's not going like, Dad, I'm pretty sure those are Pig Newtons, which would be a little cunty, but acceptable, I could deal with that. She's giving me nothing. No, you don't know. Those are pig. I'm like, really? I don't know? I don't know. Dude, I'm not even using my memory right now, okay? I'm reading the fucking box that the shit came out of. It says it. Where are you getting your information? How do you fuck with me on this? You're three and I'm 41. What are the odds that you're right and I'm wrong? What are the sheer odds of that? And take a bite of the cookie. Does it taste like a pork cookie, motherfucker? I don't think so. Why would they call it a pig Newton? What's, oh, it tastes like figs. Fucking interesting that, isn't it? I didn't say a word of that, obviously. But anyway, later... I've got the kids dressed. It's winter. We've got all the layers on. And it's time to go to school. And I've got ten minutes to get to a school that's ten minutes away. Which is a horrible feeling. I put my hand on the door to leave. And all of a sudden I go... I gotta take a shit. Take the coats off, kids. We're gonna be late. You're gonna be 40 minutes late. I don't give a shit. I am not walking to school like this. I can't use the bathroom at the school because child molesters ruin that for everybody. 
just swear to God, I'm sh-